Evidence Law, presented by me, Dr. Fook, PhD. People love a good courtroom drama, whether it's O.J. Simpson on TV or Jack Nicholson screaming on the big screen. What the television doesn't inform viewers is that there is an exact science to how trials and courts operate, and it all depends on evidence. Everyone knows what evidence is, but for evidence to hold any value, it must be admissible. The definition of relevance is broad. First, a court must determine whether the value of the evidence is outweighed by unfair prejudice. A photograph of a crime scene displaying a lot of blood or a dead body will be relevant as proof of a murder. However, a grisly photograph will also very likely inflame the jury, who will look to hold someone responsible. The court may exclude relevant evidence if it feels admitting it would cause undue delay or be a waste of time. For example, if the prosecution intends to have Bob, Carl, and Dan all testify that they witnessed Edgar wearing a green shirt, a court may exclude Carl's testimony and Dan's testimony was unnecessary, and thus a waste of time, only having Bob testify.